ELDV currently at 0025 right now. I see this thing jumping around outside that upper Bollinger Band. My personal opinion is that it's going to start pulling back now. That volume has dropped off uh, from the 20th to the 21st. Today, you see it really dropping off. Although, like I said, it's, it's pretty early right now. Looking about 12, just after 12 p.m. Eastern time right now. So you still got plenty of time to move. But right now, 0022 on the 21st. That's when we looked at this one last. I said, watch, could keep going here. But now has a gap at 0016, resistance at 24, support at 16, and triple zero eight. You guys hit that low of 22 right now. You guys uh, looks to be a little bit of a support level at that 25 where you're currently at right now, uh, which was going to be that resistance level that we've talked about over here as well. So that 25, I mean, you guys were down here at 22. And again, during our live stream at that 22, it's going to be right there during on that big candle where that red line was. And it did keep going. You guys even hit a high today of 3-4. But look at the gap, okay? It went down this time. When you're up this high and then you have a gap down, that's going to show that there's going to be weakness in the interest. It's the truth. That's just what it is. Same thing if it gaps up, just like it did with over here. There was a big interest in buying. But now that interest is really lost to where it gapped down. Uh, not that big of a gap. I mean, you guys closed at uh, 0 0 0.028 and then opened at 2.8, so, or I'm sorry, you guys closed at 2.8 and then opened at 2.8, so no, there wasn't, I apologize, there wasn't no gap here, uh, very slightly, I mean, if we take a look at another um, chart with the time frame, but looking at these daily charts to get a good read on it right here, in my personal opinion, again, that volume's dropped off, it could still pick back up, but my personal opinion, outside that upper Bollinger Band right now, I think that it's gonna pull down here, go sideways here for the next few days. That's my personal opinion. On 424.0025. That 1.6 and 1.8 gap. What I'm watching for, you guys. Keep that in mind. In my opinion, might go sideways here and fill the gap at 1.6, 1.8. day some moving average that's going to be down there quite a while so uh, that's going to move up as you resistance levels right now two five distance three zero seems support 0025, I mean, you're, you're teeter-tottering on, on it right now. Followed by the 22. We'll go with the bottom gap at 16. And then the follow-up of the 10-day. That's a big, big move there, guys. Watch it carefully. Watch this one carefully. I think it's going to fill the gap here. Unless that buying pressure picks up. If this buying pressure picks up and plows, uh, plows through that, that 28 area, it definitely could keep going from there. Uh, again, just, just voicing my personal opinion on this one. We'll continue to watch this as well right here. In my opinion, Michael Sideways here and fill the gap at 1.6 and 1.8, then bounce off of the 10-day simple moving average. Resistance at 2.530. And support at 2.522.16 and 0009 BLDV. Make sure you keep an eye on this one. If you follow the stock, make sure you subscribe and share this video with all other investors on different social networks and stock message boards and stock forums. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we will cover it. Join us live for our next live show, investorshangout.com forward slash live.